brothers and sisters, citizens of the world, we are anonymous. We come to you with grave news about the freedoms we enjoy on the internet. They no longer exist. A few of us have information regarding a virus the US government created and we are trying to release the evidence. Due to the nature of this virus, we are unable to spread the message through the internet, for we have had our internet and telephones disabled and censored. We are also being chased by agents as we speak. We have evidence the US government and Facebook collaborate in creating a virus called Kubeface, which allows an application called Get Revealed to obtain your personal information and gives it full control of your account. If you don't believe us, look at the permissions you give that application. This has turned Facebook itself into a data mining virus, which we suspect has been embedded by United States intelligence services. This is a virus that checks your friends and sends messages to those that have not yet received the virus. It says that you have answered a question about them on Revealed Quiz. They allow the application to have full access to their account, and the virus spreads silently. This virus remains dormant until you are targeted by the government over your political views. We have included evidence in the disks dropped off to the media. You won't even know they're doing it until it's too late. Facebook refuses to press charges against the creators of this virus, which plagued Facebook for years, and this is the only virus known to have affected Facebook. The government invested $50 million into Facebook through intelligence contractor company in Qtel in 2009. A few months later, Kubeface emerged. This is the return on investment in Qtel got. Facebook itself is a virus. If you perform virus scans on your computer, you will not have any results, since the virus is on the web page. Facebook also gives itself access to monitor your online traffic, even when you're logged out of Facebook. This virus gives the operator god mode over your computer and all internet traffic sent from your computer. If this information gets out, it could destroy Facebook's and the CIA's reputations. It would also prove us right. Sell any Facebook stock you have. Tell your friends to sell Facebook stock. They will be bankrupted and publicly shamed for this information. This information could destroy the credibility of the government. Anonymous suspects a false flag cyber attack from the US government will be coming soon. You will be told it's from Anonymous, but it will not be from us. They could just find some stupid kid and give him a virus. Due to the nature of Anonymous, anybody that wants to call themselves Anonymous is allowed to do so. We are not an ideology. We are the idea that information should be free. We are the living, breathing internet. The Kube face virus hurts us and to defeat it we must use methods outside of the internet. We have contacted local ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox affiliate and our local newspapers about the Kube face virus. We have informed online media. They have so far refused to even listen to the evidence. They are part of the problem. The media does not want to talk about this due to a conflict of interest with the government. They refuse to discuss Raytheon's riot program, which will integrate all the intelligence and spy tools the United States government has at its disposal. They refuse to discuss Trapwire, which authorizes the government to access private surveillance systems connected to the Internet. They refuse to discuss the very real decision to arm drones flying over the United States. They refuse to discuss the terrible impacts of gun control in any meaningful way. They refuse to discuss FEMA camps. But, most damningly, they refuse to discuss the upcoming civil war that will occur if the government continues with its plan. We do not want civil war. We do not want violence. This government is becoming tyrannical and the people are unaware because the media is complicit with the scam. We want to safely replace the government before things go too far. What we will replace it with will be up to the people. We want the internet to remain free and open. We want peace in our lifetimes. To do this, we must show the people of this country the corrupt underbelly of their governments. What we have right now is slavery. If we are not free to think, we are not free to talk. The first, second, fourth, sixth, eighth, and tenth amendments, the bulk of our Bill of Rights, have been destroyed. The fifth amendment is under attack. Soon, we will have no rights at all. We must stop this before it stops us. This past week we have seen an executive order from President Obama that effectively turns all private companies into spy agencies, funneling information whenever the intelligence community demands. For this reason, 
We are giving them an ultimatum. We will inform all of our local media. All news agencies have until February 22nd, February 22nd 13 to satisfactorily report on these stories. If they do not, then we will let them know how we feel about that. Mass protests outside media companies that do not comply with our demands will occur beginning 2-23. Today, February 18, 2012, Anonymous is announcing the launch of Operation Endgame. If you believe us, spread the text of this message to save one of our own. Make 100 copies, take a day, and paper storm this all over your cities. Coordinate as necessary. Contact your local news stations and newspapers by phone, not email. This must happen by word of mouth. If the government knows you know about this virus, you are in danger too. Do not speak about it over the internet unless you are willing to take the significant risk. In summation, this operation has two parts. Part 1. Spread the message using paper storm tactics and social media if you wish. Part 2. Contact all your local affiliate. The media that speak about it meaningfully will be spared our wrath. We are anonymous. Together, we will show them how legion we are. We do not forgive injustice, secret killings, and censorship. We do not forget media organizations that kept its citizens in the dark. To the newsmakers of the world, expect us.